Karen. Well, the fight at Wayne State continues within the Board of Governors there. Half of the board supports President Roy Wilson. The other has voted to fire him. Today, a group got together voicing support for Wilson. But as Nick Monticelli reports, those who want him gone plan to take this to court. We must stabilize Wayne State, and we can't do that. It was clear from the get-go what this group wanted to talk about, their support of Wayne State President Roy Wilson and the split on the university's Board of Governors. The board is in charge of everything Wayne State. Four of the members support Wilson, four do not. None of the current members were here, but former members were calling on the board to fix this now. In the spirit of unity, for Wayne State's sake, for the students' sake, for the faculty's sake, for the community's sake, work together. Those fighting against President Wilson say he operates without any transparency. Michael Pazuito is one of them, citing the unraveling relationship with the DMC, pediatricians leaving to partner with Central Michigan, even the rollout of the free tuition program, saying they didn't know about it. They've even voted to fire Wilson. But is it legal? Pazuito says yes, others say no. This was a, an official meeting, and we had every right to do what we did. Any vote that took place, took place in an executive meeting, not in the, in the regular public meeting, and so that vote would not count. So you can see there is divisiveness here on the campus of Wayne State with the Board of Governors, those for the president and against the president. But bottom line, those who are used to this and have been around this for a long time say this has to be settled now because the university's reputation is at stake. We are losing our reputation over over this and it's just it's it's so sad. People say the board's dysfunctional. No, this board is functional. It's doing what we're supposed to do to protect the people who voted us and for us and put us in office. At Wayne State, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.